In this video, I'm going to attempt to show you the best red zone passing concept or the best two-point conversion money play that you can have in Madden 22. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this specific video, we're talking about the trips tight end formation. Uh, probably my favorite offense right now in the game. I just love it. And we've got spam and buttons playing tonight. One of my favorite players to study. And so I wanted to do this kind of as a salute to him. I mean, he, he is someone that I would consider the best trips tight end player that not very many people know about. And I hope that people find out how good of a player he is tonight in the uh, tournament. He's taken on the reigning belt winner, Noah. And uh, again, I don't know that he actually runs this concept. I know he runs trips out of New England, but I don't know if he actually runs this concept as a red zone play. I'm going to share it in this video, something I've been doing down in the red zone. I've actually been really enjoying this concept. And uh, I've actually been enjoying it outside of the red zone too, but we're going to specifically focus on it as a red zone money concept for today. If you want to learn all of my trips tied in ebook, I feel like I've done so much research and videos and film rooms and all that stuff. Uh, you can get all my ebooks over at the Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you're going to get immediate access to 14 offensive and defensive ebooks that I've created throughout the course of this season. You also get access to any new ebooks that I release while your subscription is active. It's a month to month thing, so you can sign up for just this month or you can sign up for uh, you know however much you want. But, uh, anyways, guys, the Patreon is the best place to get better. You just get so many tips, and um, I think some of the guides in there are the best in the community. So, if you want to check that stuff out, there's a link in the description below. It's just 10 bucks, super cheap. So let's talk about this uh, concept. So um, I'm going to show it to you out of two plays. So we're going to come out in a halfback angle. In trip side in on a New England, you have the PA slot corner as an audible already equipped. It's already in, uh, built into the formation. So you can just honestly like come out in halfback angle and be fine. A uh, halfback angle is easier, but there is a slight problem, and I'm going to show you the problem uh, once we get into the breakdown. So the setup is really simple here. Like literally you don't really even need to do anything to be honest with you. Um, just snap the ball. It's fine. And if you watch this out route on the left, it's going to get wide open. Now, I personally don't like to get blitzed. So if I want to, I can block my tight end here. Um, I'm going to show you the one coverage that gives us a problem, and that is cover three. And I mean cover three with a curl flat defender. Okay, not cover three with hard flats. Let me show you. Because this cover three with hard flats, uh, what you'll see right here, cover three hard flat, and it gets wide open. Okay, hard flats and cloud flats cannot be on the field to try to defend this. I'm just telling you, that's the way this game plays this year. I don't honestly know why. Um, a cloud flat, for whatever reason, in this year's game, you'll see this out of Tampa 2 right here, it gets sucked in so freaking far. Now, please forgive me if I'm getting randomly shedded. Um, I'm just... You know, trying to show you all these coverages, but you'll see here, like I'm getting Kyle Duggars just like screaming off the edge. But as you can see, Godwin is open. So that's cover two, cover three, hard flat, cover four. Okay, um, match coverage basically is going to be the same. So if we if we get a match concept, you'll see he just out leverages them to the outside. And it's wide open. It's a beautiful route, one of the best routes in this game, to be honest with you especially down here in the in the in the uh, red zone if you get a man coverage um couple things honestly if you get man coverage you've got if this guy's deep out elite he'll still get open like of course i say that throw a pick he'll still get open you just have to kind of learn how to time it honestly don't get a lot of man coverage because of how much people will call slants in, inside the red zone but you'll see right here just ah, brady's giving or he's giving me bad animations uh, let me show it to you one more time, and then we'll move on to the next piece of the tip here. So, again, cover two, man. Obviously, you can hit your tight end. You can hit your running back. There's other routes on the play that you can hit here. Right there. So, it's like once he starts to kind of flatten his out route, that's when we throw outside pass lead, it'll be open almost every time. Okay? Now, let me show you the problem. So, the problem is cover three sky drop. Look at this right here. I'm in cover three sky. It's a curl flat. That's the only route, and it's a non-zone drop. If it's zone dropped, it doesn't work. If it's zone dropped, it does not work. So zone drops, you cannot use zone drops in the red zone to stop this concept. You can only use standard zones, okay? So now what you're going to see here is this curl flat doesn't always guard it, but it does sometimes. And it's a little fluky. I'll throw it maybe two or three times here. We'll see if we um, see if I get it picked off here. 
You see, yeah, it just kind of like causes conflict and then you can run into each other. It's partially because, honestly, it's because of the jam on that slot. There's a couple of reasons as to why this happens. But the bottom line is, if they run cover three, um, you know, it's not as good. It, it, it's still, honestly, probably 90% of the time will still work. But what I'd like to do is if they're going to call cover three, I want you to notice one other thing here on the right side. If you watch the tight end out route, same basic principle. And you see, like, stock cover three. I actually think stock cover three is one of the better coverages in the game for zone um, in the red zone. Okay? So that's a problem. And it's a problem that I don't like. Okay? So how do we solve the problem? Well, really simple, actually. We go to PA slot corner. And what you're going to notice is this corner route is going to get smoother separation. And it completely dumbs out the defenders. It's actually going to work basically the same. Like, there's really not that much different about this. And I'm going to show it a couple times here. So this is cover three against PA slot corner. And you notice the purple gets really sucked in. We also, But you also notice there's no jam, or the jam doesn't really reroute the out route very well. Okay, and I'll show it to you one more time here. And you'll see it's, that time we got bad animation. But the bottom line is it's, it's, it's fairly successful. Now, I think right there, honestly, I think I, I snapped it before the defenders were ready. So let me show it to you one more time. PA corner. And, yeah, as long as they don't run into each other, basically you're fine. Okay? So another piece of this that we can actually do is we can skinny post Mike Evans. And notice what it's going to do. It's going to put him on this kind of uh, little animation here on the back side. So let me show you what happens if I skinny post him. He's going to run across the field all the way to the other side. Now, the reason this is important is because now we can kind of build around this within the red zone area. So I can run a post, a flat or something like this. And now you see that we have kind of a cool little concept. Okay. So if you ever have any trouble with cover three, my favorite route combo in the game is to post my outside receiver flat my middle receiver so there's no jam animation and then you could use a corner or an out route to circle and just pass like that up into the outside as you can see it's fairly effective okay another little trick that you could do from pa slot corner is you can leverage the power of a hitch route i think hitches are very underrated for holding zones but what you're going to see that purple is going to sit now that time he actually went away from me and i could have hit that that smoke but that's just something else you can kind of mix in but anyways the bottom line is you can put that outside receiver on a skinny post. You don't have to be worried about it. And so now you see how we really manipulate that cover three. So to me, that's one of the best red zone uh, passing concepts in the game. You can do whatever you want on the back side of this, but that's how you can kind of score in the red zone or score in the two-point conversion area. One of the harder places to be able to score in this game. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the all of my ebooks join the patreon you get all of them not just the trips tied in one we've got 14 offensive and defensive guides available to you a lot of the meta stuff a lot of off meta stuff so if you want to get better join the patreon there's a link in the description so if you're still watching you want to join head on down to the description below and click the link to join the patreon thanks for watching